Hey everybody, Zero here. Um, so um, in this video I'm going to show you the uh, interface of the PS Vita, like um, the menu and all that kind of stuff and how it works if you haven't seen it yet. So um, <coughs> basically how it works is like, um, this is the power button, so as long as like the power's on, um, you can keep in sleep mode if you want. You can either wait like a minute and it goes into sleep mode, or you can uh, just tap the power button once and it'll go into sleep mode. It's kind of the equivalent of flicking the switch on the side of the original PSP. Um, it's just done a little bit differently. So in order to get out of sleep mode, you just tap the little um, PS home icon thing, and it'll tell you, um, you know, the date and the time and all that stuff. So since it's a touch screen, you just kind of flick that thing down. Okay, so here's the main menu. It's not the cross media bar which is kind of sad because the cross media bar is used on the PS3 and the PSP and it works really well so I don't know why they changed it because um, now all your icons are these little bubbles and as you can see they're kind of spaced out quite apart from each other so you can't really fit a lot of information on the screen um, there's multiple screens that you can have but um, I just think it's not as organized um, if you want to organize them a little bit, you can actually hold the screen in. Um, yeah, just hold the screen in anywhere, and then you can um, you can erase stuff, you can move it around, uh, stuff like that. So you can organize it, but... Okay, so, basically there's some things you can't delete, like the default stuff that comes preloaded on the Vita. Uh, music, videos, um, you know, settings, things like that. And then these things down here are the games that I've installed or downloaded and they each get their own little bubble which you know it's gonna if you have a lot of games it's gonna clutter up your screen so it'd be nice to be able to make folders um, also another thing that's a little bit you know bad is the um, in the cross media bar you kinda just scroll over to you know whichever tab you need to be on and then click it and it all loads instantly um, on this it's there's kind of a delay like if I wanna go into settings I gotta click the settings bubble it pops up with this little screen saying like are you sure you want to go into settings and then you gotta click start and then you gotta wait for it to load so it's not as convenient as the cross media bar um, to get back to the main menu you can just hit the uh, PS home button again but anything that you have open in the background will stay as one of these little screens with the tab up in the corner so let's say I back out again onto my main screen now let's say I want to open Oh, I don't know. Maybe like my trophies. So I start the trophies. You have to click start on pretty much every tab that you open. Okay, so here's like my trophies for Vita, right? So like if you back out again, you can scroll now between all the different things that you have open. So like as you can see, I was playing Dynasty Warriors next. I was also playing the Motorstorm RC game that I downloaded. I have the... Uh, settings tab and the trophies so if you don't want to use any of these anymore you just take the corner and you fold it away and it it deletes it basically um... so i mean you still have access to the playstation store um, you still have trophies and you can switch between um, actually i don't need to do that because i already had the trophies open but uh... i don't know the trophies is what i closed okay um, you can switch between Vita trophies and all of your trophies, which would include PSP, Vita, and PS3. So, like right now, I'm just on Vita, so it just shows these three games. Um, I think you just click. Oh no, I just went into the PlayStation Network. Or no, oh, that's yeah. Okay, so now here's like all the different games that I've been playing for like PS3, PSP, like anything, all that kind of stuff. Um, so delete that okay so um, basically what happens is like if you download a game from the store or even if you just put in a cartridge and install it it puts a little bubble on there even when the cartridge isn't in the system so like for example right now I have Dynasty Warriors in there but notice how Ninja Gaiden is still up there even though I don't have the cartridge in um, I'm assuming if I click on it it won't really do much because I don't have the cartridge in there but uh, I've never tried that before, so let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, insert a PS Vita card, okay. Um, it does keep your save data in the little bubble, so the bubble is actually stored on the memory card. 
So like for example, if you wanted to delete your save file, you would um, click on the screen until these little dot 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 bubbles appear, and then you click on that and you can click delete. But I don't want to do that. So, um, so like right now, I only have two screens worth of stuff. Um, up here in the top corner where it says one, this is your notifications and your downloads. So if you have something downloading, it'll show up in the corner. Or if um, something you know happens, like someone sends you a message, you get an achievement recently, you finish a download, all that stuff shows up here in the corner under your list of recently done stuff. Um, another cool feature about the system is that you can, anytime you're in the middle of a game, you can hold the start button and the PlayStation Home button, and it will actually take a snapshot. Um, which is like really cool because then you can you can post them right to Facebook or whatever so that's a cool way of having really high resolution photos of like in-game stuff um, like if I go to my album here it actually arranges it by like photos you take with the actual camera and by screenshots so if I say screenshots it breaks it down into the games that you have these are the screenshots I've taken from Ninja Gaiden and they're like really really high resolution it's hard to tell on the you know camera because it's a crappy camera but um but yeah so i have screenshots from ninja gaiden and dynasty warriors Oops. and then i have like pictures i've taken with my actual camera and then another feature that this has is near which is kind of like street pass for the 3ds you open the near park and basically what it does is like you check in at different locations so like if you're at home obviously you can check in at home or if you go out you can check in at different places and it finds people that are nearby you with vitas um, and then like if you have the same games you can actually like trade items with each other and stuff like that um, and then you can view like a little map showing like who's nearby you and what they're playing and stuff like that. Sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it doesn't even work. Sometimes it says like failed to load or whatever. Yeah, see. So you have to do it usually like two or three times, which is kind of lame. Hopefully they fix that. But um, if you press the home button again, you can you know view your tabs kind of in this format. Um, but I like doing it with the slide way better. And, like, when you go to open a game, it'll take you to this, like, screen before you actually open the game that says, you know, do you want to... Oh, sure, now near works. 17 people are playing nearby. It opens the screen first. It says, like, are you sure you want to open the game? Before you click start, you can actually click on different stuff here. And this will show, like, if there's updates to the game, if there's DLC, um, stuff like that. So that's kind of cool, because then you can just click on the game and be like, oh, there's an update. Or, you know, I want to download some more stuff for this game. You don't have to go in the PlayStation Store and search for it. So, oops, that's kind of cool. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to really show. As you can see, I still have full battery right now. The battery's not as bad on this as people, you know, made it out to be. Um, close all this crap. Um, you can message people. You can check your friends list. There's a web browser, which is, you know, pretty good, actually. It's probably better than the, you know, 3DS and PSP and PS3 browsers. Um remote play, you can listen to music, watch videos, all that good stuff. Um, but that's pretty much how the, um, the interface works on the uh, on the Vita. Like I said, if you want to just go into sleep mode, you can either wait 60 seconds or you can just hit the power button on the top and you'll see the PS uh, button glow like a little blue color. But yeah, so if, uh, you know, if you're getting a Vita, that's uh, pretty much how it's going to work. So I just wanted to show you guys how that works, and I'll see you guys in the next video.